Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is video series one, part six. In this part, I would like to add some end remarks to series one. First, let me have a look back to the previous parts of this video series. The first part was an introduction. In part two, I shared with you some highlight of the new philosophy system. In part three, I share with you some examples how the fundamental problems are solved in physics and cosmology. In part four, I shared with you some examples how the fundamental problems are solved in biology and anthropology. I explained some phenomena in a daily life. In part five, I shared with you what does the new philosophy theory mean for the social sciences. I hope you have got some impression on what the new philosophy is and what does it mean for the relevant sciences. I hope you have enjoyed the video presentation. I would like now to add some end remarks to series one. Let me first have a short summary about the new philosophy system. First, the new philosophy system is complete, consistent, and has a general meaning. Second, it provides a solid foundation for philosophy, natural sciences, and social sciences. It can be used directly to solve some existing fundamental problems in natural science and social sciences. The philosophic model for the subject in physics, cosmology, and biology are easy to be translated to mathematical models. The establishment of the four original wills of the mankind and the four social wills of the human society has set a zero reference for all social sciences. Second, I must say that I remain hopeful in the mankind and the human society. Very frankly, I was disappointed many times by my findings in my research in the last years. But I always believe that the mankind will prevail. I know that many people in the world share my concerns on the status of philosophy, natural science, and social science, and the human society. I felt encouraged by them. This is very important for me. I realized that the existing concerns and the new ideas are fragmented opinions. They could not win from the existing Plato philosophy system. I have shown in my book that the Plato philosophy system and other philosophical ideas are only a part of the new philosophy system. This is why they are imperfect. We have now something complete. I believe the new philosophy system can help the world to revitalize the philosophy, natural sciences, social science, and the mankind in the end. There's still a lot of work in philosophy and the sciences that could and should be done in the framework of the new philosophy system. It is the time for me to share my understanding with the world and to support other people, especially the young people in the future development of the new series and its applications. As I explained in the introduction of this video series, I have been writing four 
books in Chinese. The first book is called The Principles of the Universe. It contains my original research notes. My second book is called Why Do the Universe and We Exist? It contains the main findings in the natural sciences such as physics, cosmology, biology, and anthropology. The third book is a new state theory. The new book is based on the four original wills of the mankind and the four social wills of the human society. They removed some flaws in the existing state series and redefined some hot social concept. In the fourth book, I separated the four original wills of the mankind and the social wills of the human society. This separation enabled me to classify and ex explain the human behaviors without usage of a moral definition. As you may have noticed in this video series, I'm very open in criticizing the great works of great masters in philosophy and sciences. I would like to use this opportunity to see a few words in my mind during my research. First of all, I have never the ambition to do something important. The only thing I really want in my life is to understand. I want to understand the essentials of the great series from the great masters, such as Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Kant, Schopenhauer, Nietzsche, Rousseau, Darwin, Croesus, Einstein, Bohr, and many others. My understanding on their great works lead to my criticals on their works and the establishment of the new theory. This does not change the fact that I always have great respect for them. Also, my analysis has led to the conclusion that philosophy and science are dead. I always respect those who are working hard in their own field. Last, I knew that some of my old friends in physics community dislike my rebelling. I always wish them successful in their work. I would like to make a few more remarks. First, this video series is too short for me to share with you the new philosophy systems and its applications. You might need to read my book, The Principles of the Universe. Second, if a publisher would be interested in publishing my four books in Chinese and other languages, I would be very happy. I think you would also make other people happy too. You could contact me via my email, yubenfendo at gmail.com. In the next two video series, I would like to share with you some highlight from my following two books. Video series two is on why do the universe and we exist. Video series three is on the philosophy foundation of the states. Finally, I would like to thank you for your interest in the new philosophy system and your patience. With this remark, I would like to close part six of video series one. This is also the end of video series one.